Welcome to Philosophy and Shit with Sean. Today's episode is called Mind Crack, and it's about fucking perception. Did you know that we humans can only spy with our little fucking eye only 0.0035% of reality? Put that in your mental pipe and smoke it for a minute. Evolution has restricted most of what we can see of reality, reducing it the fuck down to, be, to allow us to be able to focus on identifying threats and resources. Now, if we examine that further, we can also notice our mind's fucking proclivity to label shit. Like when we see a forest, our mind recognizes the stick things with green shit atop, slaps a label called fucking trees, and then shuffles it into the blah zone of our minds, not having identified it as a threat or a resource. So we can go on about our fucking business of meat tractoring through a world of mind labels, but not really seeing shit. As far as the mechanics of actual fucking vision, try this little fucking trick. Extend your arm and stick up your damn thumb so that the nail's facing you. That size of your fucking nail is all we are capable of seeing in focus. Think I'm shitting you? Put down your fucking arm and focus on whatever your eye lands on and notice that only the size of your fucking nail is in sharp focus and the rest is a fucking peripheral blur. Look at my fucking glorious mustache and notice that everything else around it is out of fucking focus. As amazing and complex as the human mind is, nature was smart enough to dumb down our relatively dumbass visual perception to way less than 1% of reality. Ain't it a fucking hoot though that we decide we know what the fuck's going on and you know what reality is, although we only see a mostly blurred version of 0.0035 fucking percent of it, and slap labels on that which we can fucking see and file those away and essentially are barely aware of whatever it is that's fucking out there. I mean, what the fuck? We can't really overcome billions of years of evolution, but we can overcome the notion that we fucking think we know something about reality. We can ponder our own fucking relative blindness and let it break our minds a little bit. And through that mind crack, we might just find that there's something behind it, something unseen, something experiential yet unexplainable behind our governed down, restricted fucking senses which lie 100% of material reality, which in itself is just a tiny fucking molecule in a single fucking drop of an eternal ocean of existence. Now, what am I really fucking talking about? I'm really talking about go find out for your own fucking self, because whatever label we slap on this wakeful vastness behind all things will only fucking serve to obscure. I'm not going to say the fucking G word. I'm not going to talk about quantum physics or theosophy or woo-woo. All those are vehicles of our seeking fucking minds. But at some point, you got to get to the fucking destination and leave the fucking vehicle behind. Otherwise, we'll always be stuck fucking driving around in circles, but we'll experience nothing of the unified fucking field of existence that we actually are. Vehicles are important. They are a must. Choose one that fucking suits you. Religion, science, philosophy, spirituality, whatever the fuck. But the one thing more important than the vehicle is the ability to abandon said vehicle so that you can go have a little fucking walkabout in the field of experiential existence. So enjoy the ride and go find a fucking parking spot. Okay, well, have a nice day or have a fucking existential crisis, whatever. I'm not the fucking boss of you. Toodaloo.